Let us wait for my hand to come out. Using the camera. And we have it. Okay, here you go. Okay, where is that? That is a spotlight for everyone. Okay, so later. Okay, so we have our hand. Therefore, let's continue. Okay, so we have what? Since uh, X, no? So in this uh, part, let's use so letter A, letter B, okay? Or uh, rather, let us use example six, okay? Using example six, video number four, uh, delta X equal to point one. What will happen? If delta x equal to point 0.1, so this one is what? Uh, F 3.1, okay? 3.1. So how much that? That is 3.1 squared. What is 3.1 squared? Let's compute. Calculator. 9.1 squared is 9.1. 61. 9.61. So therefore, if you have 9.61, your uh, what? Slope is 9.61 minus 9 over 0.1. How much is this? 0 0.61 divided by 0 0.1. This is 6 point? 6.1. 6 6.1. So as shown in our case, okay, 6.1. Therefore, our error is point 0.1, no? Our error is point 0.1. Okay? That is uh, how we do it. So let us share our, share our video. The answer to that is uh, point 0.1. The error, the truncation error is point 0.1. So meaning to say, the truncation error become smaller if the uh, delta x is smaller. Okay, as the uh, delta x becomes smaller, truncation is error becomes smaller. Therefore, as the delta x approaches zero, that is calculus. Delta x approaches zero. Therefore our truncation error will also approach zero. Therefore, as we go on further and further, okay, taking 50%, taking 50% repeatedly of the delta x, okay, we will uh, be able to make truncation error as close to zero as possible. Okay, that is the concept here. Okay. 
That is the concept of calculus, but we are on the other side of the calculus. Okay. We are on the other side. So, because we are what? Going into the engineering application. No? Uh, which one is the next problem? Example three, how about uh, integration? Okay, we will show. Two rectangles of equal width to approximate the area under the curve for fx equal to x squared over the interval three to nine. Okay, example number seven sample seven time stamp uh, 51 uh, video number four okay okay so again fx equal to x squared and our interval is three to nine okay so obviously we can uh, do it uh, using integral. Okay, uh, as you can see on your screen, we have what? Using integration, our area is what? From three to nine, x squared dx. What is the integral of x squared dx? x cube over three, from three to nine. How much is this? Nine cube minus three cube over Three, how much this? That is how to do the integration. Okay. Definite integral. How much that? So let us, uh, what? Nine cube minus three cube divide three. The value is 234. Okay, that is the area under the curve from three to nine. Okay. But in this example, we are asked to use only two rectangles. So three to nine. You have three to nine. So our width, total width is three minus nine. At nine minus three is six. Okay, therefore our width for each and every rectangle is what three, because six divided by two is three. Okay. Okay, and therefore since our rectangle has three width, we can start with what? With height. Okay. Height one. What is height one? That is f x is equal to three that is our height one what is that three squared okay and that is nine our height is nine our width is three and therefore our area one is equal to three times nine which is 27 okay how about with number two also equal to three. What is the height of two? F x is equal to six. So therefore six squared, six squared is 36. Area two is equal to three times 36. How much is this? 108? Is this 108? And therefore, total area is A1 plus A2. This is 15, 1, 3, 135. Okay. Our answer is only 135. But the required answer is this one. So take note okay, of the error. Can you see my error? Can you see my right ups here? Okay. So the answer supposed to be still 234, but our answer is 135. 
we have what? 99 error. Okay? If you subtract, our error is 99. Okay? So let us uh, go on. We don't care because we are just being asked. We are just being asked with this uh, question. So, correct. Our answer is correct. The actual value is 234. And our answer is 135. Therefore, the our error is 99. Our answers are correct. Okay. Assignment. Can you find the truncation error with 40 rectangles? Okay. Let's do that. Another example. Okay. Example number what? Eight. Sample number eight. Timestamp 5139. Video number four. Okay. Okay. So we have here what we need. Total width is six. But uh, we need four rectangles. So six divided by four. So W1 is equal to W2 equal to W3 equal to W4. That is six over four. That is equal to 1.5. Our width is 1.5. Okay. Let us uh, find out. What are the height? Because rectangle, area of rectangle are what? With times height. So we are uh, going to find out what is height number one, height one. What is height one? That is already solved. This is nine here. We already have the, the answer here. H1 is nine. Okay. And also we already have H3. Okay, so we need H2, okay? H2 is function at uh, X is equal to 4.5. Therefore, what? 4.5 squared. What is 4.5 squared? Let us use our calculator. 4.5 squared. Twenty point twenty five. Twenty point twenty five. Then H3. We already know the answer of H3 because that is F6. And the answer is 36. Okay. And what is uh, H? H4. That is what? F. 7.5. That is our uh, no, 7.5 squared. How much is this? 7.5 equals this is 56 point 56.25. Okay. And therefore, we can uh, compute all the areas. Total area, uh, W is 1.5. All the Ws are 1.5. Therefore, just add H1 plus H2 plus H3 plus H4 and multiply by 1.5. And that is our answer 1.5 times quantity 9 plus 20.25 plus 36 plus 56.25 and the answer is the answer for the area is 182 point 
182.25. Okay? So our answer is 182.25. Total area. What I am doing is just algebra. You should be able to follow this up. To follow the solution. Okay? I am just doing the algebra. I don't need to, to explain it. Area of rectangle is with time side. Okay. So let us go to the answer. What is the answer? Uh, there is no answer here, so therefore we have this answer. There is no answer in the video. That's why it is what? Assignment, no? It was an assignment, and therefore this is the answer. But still, this is uh, very far from the correct answer, which is 234. Okay? The correct answer is 234. Okay? Our answer is this one. With what? Four rectangles. Okay, four rectangles. This one has two rectangles. Okay. So let's go to the next uh, video. So we are through with the sources of error. Okay. I have difficulty. Going to the next video. So this uh, is for the next video, which is called binary representation. Okay. So binary. How a decimal number is represented? So we already know this. Let's uh, go to the problem solving directly. Ah, we already solved this. We already have a solution for this. Okay, we already have the solution for this. Okay. Conversion. We also use our calculate, calculator in converting, but there is a uh, limit in using the calculator as converter of different bases of uh, representation. We cannot uh, use the calculator if the binary or octal or decimal has what? A decimal part. Okay. We cannot do it. We cannot do it. So this is a floating point type of method. Floating point. We are uh, doing the floating point. Floating point meaning we are uh, what? Uh, manipulating the uh, decimal point. We are manipulating the decimal point to be able to answer those binary representation even uh, with the use of calculator. Okay. okay, we can do that. We can do that because binary is the language of computer. Okay, where is the next? What is, what is that? Convert. Convert table. Uh, 
Convert base 10 integer to binary. Oh, we already know this. I already saw this. And uh, base 10 to binary. So going back and forth, no? Base 10 to binary, binary to base 10. Okay? When you are going to do from base 10 to binary, you have to what? You have to divide by two, divide by two repeatedly. And we have the what? The algorithm, no? This is the algorithm, how to do it. If the binary to be considered is a decimal number, you have to multiply rather than divide. Multiply by two and repeatedly multiply by two. Okay, if the uh, number is decimal. We have to answer those. You have to answer those parts that uh, I gave you as an assignment. Did you do? Did you do your assignment here? Okay. okay. These are binary, no? Multiply by two repeatedly here because the number is a decimal number. Multiply by two repeatedly. Okay, so this is a decimal number that you want to uh, convert to base two. Okay, so what? You have to convert 11 to base two first. Then next one is to convert the decimal part again to base two. Okay, that's how to do it. So, so the uh, what the number must be divided in terms of what whole number and decimal part, and the conversion is different because for the whole number you have to divide by two, for the decimal part again you have to multiply by two. So here is the multiplication part. So after uh, you get the answer for both, then you just have to what? To add the two solution, okay? This is the equivalent of 11. This is the equivalent of 0.1875, okay? I hope you are able to do that. That is arithmetic. But we do not have an example. Oh, give any example you want. Give any example that we want to solve. Because we will go to the next uh, video. We do not have any other example. We solve this example already. So please give me any example that you want to solve. Any random number. Give me any random number. So we are now going to three five six four. What? Come again. One hundred three point three five six four. One hundred. Okay, let's solve that. Sample number uh, nine. Okay, that is our sample. Number nine. 
120.356, this is decimal, meaning B10. Uh, let us find out how much is this in base two. Okay, what is the answer? Okay. okay, let's do this. So therefore, the uh, the process is divide this into decimal, uh, into the whole number and uh, decimal part. Okay, so first solve for this, this part. 120. Okay. How to do it? Divide by two. Continuously divide by two. Uh, let us uh, use my calculator. Okay. Divide by two repeatedly. Okay. Here. 120. Divide by two. What is the answer? Aha. Why? Yes, sir. Mode one. One twenty. Divide by two. So sixty. So there is no remainder. Because there is no remainder, the answer is zero. Okay, let us. So let us. First, divide by two, and the answer is zero. Again, 60 divide by two. 30. 30. Oh, therefore, the answer is zero because there is no remainder. 30. 30 divide by two. 15. Oh, there is no remainder. So 15 divide by two. 7.5. No, 7.5. There is a remainder. That is 0.5. Okay, that is one. So that is seven. 7.5 is equal to seven and one. One, okay? The question is, do you have a remainder or not? We have, so one. Here, do you have a remainder or not? None, zero. No remainder, no remainder, with remainder, one. Okay, seven. Seven divided by two. 3.5. So we have remainder. Okay. So 3. Through 3 divided by 2. 1.5. Oh, we have remainder. So 1. So 1 divided by 2. 0.5. Remainder. Oh, that is the remainder. Okay. So and we stop. We stop at that. That is how we, we uh, follow that. Uh, algorithm. Follow, just follow that alg algorithm. So therefore, if we have to write this down, we have four one and uh, three zeros. Okay. So we have to write it down like this: one, two, three, four, zero, zero, zero. This is the equivalent of. This is the equivalent of uh, one twenty, and we can check it. We can check that uh, this is equivalent to one, 120. This is what? Two to the zero. This is uh, two to the one. Two to the two power. Two to the three power. Two to the four power. Two to the fifth power. And two to the sixth power. What is two to the sixth power? How much? 120. Uh -huh. 2 to the 6th power 64. is 64. 64 only. Only 64. This 64. is 32. And this is 16. And this is 8. This is 0, 0, 0. Why? Because 0, 0, 0. That's why they are 0. Oh, you need to add. Add all of this. Add all of this. How much? 120. 120. That's why it is correct. All right. That's why it is correct. Okay. Let's go to the next. The next procedure here. You need to multiply instead. Multiply by two. Okay. Let's start. 
0.356. Multiply by 2. What is the answer? 0 0.7. 0 0.7. 0 0.7. 1, 2. Oh, therefore, there is no, there is no remainder. Again, multiply by 2. What is the answer? 1.424. So 1. Point four twenty four. Twenty four. Okay. So we have a remainder here. Because one point. Okay. So my we have a one. So we have a remainder. One. So point four three four. Uh, four two four times two. Point eight four eight. Point eight four eight times two. Five point six nine six four. Ah, uh, times two only. Point eight four eight times two. One point six. So, so one point six nine six. Okay, times two. Times two. One point three nine two. One point three. One point three. Three nine two. Three nine two. Okay. Again. Next, uh, multiply by two again. Point seven eighty four. So zero point seven eighty four times two. One point five six eight. Is that correct? One point five six eight. Times two again. One point one three six. One point one three six. Times two. Zero. Point two seven two. Two seven two. Times two. Zero. Point. Five. Five point four. Times two, one point zero eight eight times two zero one point four point one seven six four times two is equal to zero three fifty two three fifty two fifty two three fifty two Fifty two times two. Seven two four point seven. Oh four. Zero four. Times two. One point four oh eight. Okay, we have one point four zero eight times two. Point eight sixteen. Zero point eight sixteen times two. One point one point six three. So we have one point six three two times two. One point two six three. One point two six four times two. Zero point five two. Zero point five two eight times two. One point zero fifty six. One point zero fifty six times two. One hundred twelve. Huh? 
point one hundred one. Point one hundred two. Twelve twelve. Ah, twelve. Point one one two. Times two. Point two two four. Point two two four times two. Point four four eight times two. Point eight four. Nine six. Nine six times two. One. Point one seven nine two. Seven nine two times two. One point five eight four. One point five eight four. Five eight four times two. One point one six eight. Point one six eight eight times two. Three three six four. Three three six times two. Point six seven two. Six seven two times two. One point three four four. Point three four four four. Point three four four times two. Point six eight eight. Six eight eight times two. One one point three seventy six. Three seven six times two. Point seven five two. Point seven five two times two. One point five zero four. One point five zero four times two. One point zero zero eight. One point zero zero eight times two. Point six eight. Zero point zero sixteen times two. Zero point thirty two times two. Zero point zero six four. So this is now very small number, no? Because you can see there are plenty of zeros right now. But you can still do it as long as you can. Okay. The answer is zero one zero one one zero. So how to write this down? You have to write this down from this point going down like this. So the decimal point is zero one zero one one zero one one zero zero one. Zero 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 one.